Amazing. Wow. How many are enjoying the music? It is amazing. can understand why people are jealous. Is it not true? Oh, yes. You can understand why people got a problem. Because you can't believe that nice things existing and we are bearing much fruits, singing about it, flowing in it, doing it, it's just just too beautiful. Hmm? It's just amazing. So well, you guys have a lot to do to catch up. To catch up. Catch up. You know what the tomato said to his friend? I'll soon catch up. <laughs> that is a great blessing. I enjoy the music. I don't know about you. Do you enjoy the music too? I mean, the song is John chapter 15. Solid. I want to bear much fruit. There's no other, there's the verses in the in the John 15, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it. Fantastic. So we've given you four songs, and these four songs on the video have to go for competition to see which one. It's going to win, isn't it? I mean, amongst us, I'm just competition. Which one are you going to vote for? You knock to the palace. What about first thing I do? Bear much fruits. And I see you, Jesus. And you knocks in the palace. Have you heard the song Use It or Lose It? Ah, you see now. Because Eunuchs in the Palace was released after the camp. Yes. Yes. Way after the camp. Beautiful. That is a great blessing. Now, you need to sit down because we are going into serious business now. steps have I given you to the apostolic ministry? Eight steps. What's step number one? I cannot hear you. Do not compare. Compare yourself. That's a very important step, isn't it? You just compare yourself and you say, ah, there's nobody as young as me who is trying to be an apostle. I'm going to wait till I get a little older. 
What's the second step? Huh? Know your sphere of operation. Yeah. And it. Yeah. And then what's the next one? Pardon? Marital commitment. Marital commitment. Yeah. Together forever. Oh, yes. Together forever. And you see, it is my prayer that as you get married in the church, you have a vision for together forever. And together forever is not possible unless you follow the first love rules. Otherwise, you stop being happy shortly after. After you have your baby, babies, baby one, baby two, baby three, Baby four,
Point are we on? Huh? Wow. Sit down, sit down. I was going through the points and then we had this distraction, but I believe it's a spiritual distraction. Point number one is what? Don't compare. Point number two. Know your region. Point number three. Marital commitment. That's what brought the together forever. That's what I was saying. So we had a song for that point. Oh, yes. Point number four. Holiness. Tell your neighbor, no more deception. Wow. Point number five. Simplicity. Wow. Simplicity. What are the simple realities of the, of the world? Witnessing, prayer, follow up, teaching, building the church. That's it. That's it. Simple. It's the same. Don't ask, is there anything you want me to do as I go to Bolivia or as I go to this state or as I go, is there something you want us to do? Is there something? What, what do you have for me? Is there any special? That's a simple thing that we have. It never changes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Number six. Maintain the message of the gospel. What are some of the examples of the gospel message? Greater love. What? Greater love. Greater love. Greater love. Greater love. Greater love. Now, if you've had a number of boyfriends, you will understand. And you, you, one of your good, one of your good messages will be the greater love message. Because. If you've had a number of boys, mm. right, you will find out that there's greater and lesser loves. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. True or not true? true? There are some boys whose love is nicer. And there are some people whose love is not nice. And like somebody said, you wouldn't know that all these things are included in love. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm not talking about sex. Okay. I'm talking about love. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So there's different okay. kinds of love. So I'm expecting some of you to be standing on a platform or, or even talking one-to-one -one wow. and explaining. Wow. Today I want to talk to you wow. about greater love. Wow. And then you give yourself as an example. Wow. And you tell you, look, I've had six boyfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now, these six boyfriends were all different experiences. Okay, okay, okay. I remember the first one. Hey, number one, number one. He would call me sometimes. And uh, he would remember me at the weekends. Then I remember the second one. And he remembered me twice a week. And I remember the third one. He remembered me three times a week. And the fourth one. And the fifth one. But the sixth one. The fourth one remembered me every day. The fifth one remembered me twice a day. Every day. Twice a day. But the sixth one. He remembered me every minute. Superior. I need it. And you explain that that is what I mean by greater love. Wow. Like there is that there are levels in love. Yeah. Yeah. There are different levels of beloved doses. My beloved is mine, and I I am my beloved. I need it. Love is such a beautiful thing. So when you are preaching this greater love message, you use yourself as an example. Yes. And then you explain to him, but but there is a love that is greater than all all these other loves. And that love is the greater love of Jesus Christ. Greater love has no man that he would give up his life wow. for a friend. Wow. And then you say that and all these boys, mm. all none these of boys. them would die for me. Yeah, at all, at all. Then you tell them, I want to tell you a story. Oh. There was a brother and uh, he was in the house when armed robbers came to the house. Mercy. And when the armed robbers came, shh, they had bought a new freezer. Mm. See, the freezer that opens like a chest. Yeah. Like that. Wow. So when the armed robbers came, the brother, who is the husband, ran and jumped into the freezer. Wait, wait. And hid himself. So when the armed robbers came, they caught the wife and they robbed the house and they were, you know, roughing her up a bit. And then eventually they got what they want and then they left. And the brother came out of the freezer after the armed robbers had left. What a brother. What a brother. And shh, listen, if you don't listen, you'll not remember the story. I'm giving you windows when, during your evangelism. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So when the lady came out, she, she, and her husband came and said, oh, my darling, I love you. She said, oh, you don't love me. You were hiding in the it's freezer. Fake, yeah. Why didn't you come out to it's save fake, me? Yeah. It's fake. It ain't right. It's fake love. And that's when you explain that greater love oh. has no man Whoa. than this, that a man will give up his life Whoa. for his friend. Even my husband wouldn't give up his yeah. life for me. Yeah. He was hiding in the freezer. Yeah. He was hiding far away. Yeah. But Jesus gave his yeah. life for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Windows. Is, is, is it not a powerful message? It's powerful. And this is the gospel message of an apostle. Greater love. Hey, greater love. Greater love. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sit down. Sit down. Wow. Thank you. Wow. wow. There's love and there's love. And some of you, your favorite message should be the prodigal son. Wow. Your favorite gospel message. Yes. Because you've been a prodigal son before. Many times. Many times. You wouldn't listen to anybody. Mercy. You wouldn't obey anybody. Hey. You wouldn't do anything. Hey. And you went far. Wow. Far. Rich, rich. And one day, 
you tell them how one day I was in I was in my boyfriend's and my boyfriend was a Rasta man. Hey! This I know. With dreadlocks. The house was filled with smoke. And that's where I was staying. What is the name of this reggae uh, music guy? Uh, not Bob, Bob, no, not Bob the other one. Peter Tosh. That was the only music in the house. Peter Tosh. Reggae music with smoke and weed in the house. And I was there. I was far away from home. But God sent somebody to come and speak to me far away. And I turned around and I came back to Jesus. Preach this message. Yeah, I can preach it. I can, I can, I can preach, preach it. it. This one. Hey, I can preach it. What a message. What a message. I was eating with pigs. Yeah. Staying with Rasta men. Yeah. Sitting in smoking uh, yeah. Tosca for men. Yeah. Drinking, fooling. Yeah. Oh. oh. Boozing and boozing. But one day. One day. God sent somebody wow. to talk to me in the pig yeah. farm yeah. and told me, you've got to come back home. Yeah. You've got a father who loves you yeah. and a family who loves yeah. you. Yeah. You don't belong here. At all. You don't belong down here. Amen. What are you doing here? Amen. Oh. Wow. Come back home. Come back home. And that's why Andre Crouch has that beautiful song, Come yeah. Back. Come Back, Come, come Back, Sunday. How does it go? And tenderly, Jesus is calling you. Where, where's that choir? Come on.
choir days seriously. Yeah. In the middle of your preaching, you start singing the song. Yeah. Yeah. You, start singing. you see, I wish I was such a good singer. Uh, well, in the middle of my preaching, I would just start singing. 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 That, that's why I thought that I have singers because sing it. we will sing. I just feel like singing the song is saying it yeah. as well as I want to say it. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And every prodigal son and every prodigal daughter mm. who is far from home mm. will hear this message. And when it's sung to the Spirit, to move even more. Mm. How many are getting ready for your evangelistic oh, yes. ministry? Me. Yes. Yes. Amen. Go ahead, sit down. Wow. wow. You're helping me. You hear this message? Sing it. Yes. Mm. I mean, don't you feel happy to hear the gospel message? To me, it makes me very happy. Yeah. I mean, it's just too fantastic. Too yeah. wonderful. Gospel message. Mm. Somebody asked me, what message do you enjoy being more gospel? Wow. wow. Gospel message. Yeah. Mm. So, very, very important that you believe and be an apostle is a gospel man. Wow. Mm. Yes. He stays with the gospel. Paul, Paul was full strong. It's the only thing he cared. One of the only things he spoke like a cares about. Is that if you come with a different thing, I'll not be happy with you at all. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What are the steps to become an apostle? What's the next one? Knowledge. Knowledge. Yeah. Remember, we spoke about the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and counsel, and it will change your smell. Yes. Mm. And your ability to smell. Oh, yeah. Isn't it true? Oh, it's yeah. true. Oh, yes. Make you of quick understanding of yes. quick smelling. Mm. Quick smelling. <laughs> quick orientation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Talobas el berico tala. I receive it. Yeah. I receive it. And that is why that Orangu pastor said, you have read the book. Mm. Because his Orangus that I gathered, one of them had read the book and yeah. had come to the knowledge yeah. that it's not a good thing to be an Orangu. Mm. Okay. Okay. And he saw that you've read the book. <laughs> Which he had put a ban on that nobody should read this loyalty book. <laughs> But the guy had read the book and he was now rebelling against the yeah. disloyalty. Yeah. Step number eight to your apostolic ministry. Humility. 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 Wow. Humility. Big Humility. One. Humility is very important. Paul said, did I abase myself for nothing? I abased myself. Humility. Amen. Amen. What's step number nine? War. Yeah, war. War against who? So write it, war against masqueraders. That's step number nine. And is that step number ten? No. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Step number ten. Ten is a good number. First Corinthians chapter 15. Preach it. Hard work. Wow. Hard work. Okay. I need it. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 8. Quick as quick. And last of all, 
He was seen of me also as one born out of due time. Glory to God. And verse 9, for I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. Everybody say least. 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 So this is, he, Paul said, I'm the smallest mm. of the apostles. So how many would agree with me that, look, already I don't think I am like really mm. anything or like really least. apostolic. Yeah. yeah. You get it? A, a nobody. So how many will accept to be the least of the apostles, like let's say all the people here, that you're going to be the least. Raise no. your hand if you just flow with the least. I don't mind at all. You don't mind at all. So you're going to be just like Paul. So the oh. least people oh. here, that's the least. That's what it means to be least. It means wow. to be like Paul. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the least is like Paul. So if you're going to be a least, lowest, less, lessest, Lowest, zeroest type of apostle, wow. then you're going to be like Paul. Amen. Wow, amen. 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 You don't mind at all. I don't know whether this side are more interested no, in no, 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 becoming no, no, apostles. No, no, no. This this area. Listening. Okay. No, but sometimes I don't know whether I'm talking to myself. No, like, no, 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 we're here. I'm a soliloquizing, is that what it says? Soliloquy. Check. Check soliloquy. It's a word. Soliloquy. Soliloquy. Somebody at work. I'm wondering. They don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Which school did you go to? Soliloquy. Hey. The act of talking to oneself. Oh, wow. Yes. A discourse made by. Sh- a discourse made by one in solitude to oneself. A monologue. A written composition reciting what is supposed a person says to himself. That's what I was I'm wondering that when I was talking about the lists of the apostles, I don't know whether it was a soliloquy. We're here. It was the act of talking to oneself. Now, notice verse 10. He said, but by the grace of God. By the grace. 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 God will take care of you. Amen. Amen. By the grace. I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But what did I do? I labored more abundantly than they all. Wow. Wow. We came for this message. Wow. I labored more. You see, an apostle, a small boy apostle. You know, all of us are small boy apostles. Yeah. And this is how small boy apostles flow. He starts by saying, I'm the small boy. Yeah. I'm a small boy apostle. Yeah. So what does a small boy apostle do? You labor more. More abundantly wow. than all, all the other guys. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You labor more abundantly. Mm. And that is what you do when you are a small boy. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, 
Oh. You see, I am, I am a small boy apostle, even in Ghana. All the charismatic pastors are all older than me. Wow. Most, almost all of them are over 60. If I mention their names, you know them. They are 60 this, 60 mm. something, 60 whatever. I'm not 60 yet. I'm in my 50s. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> so a small boy apostle has just one thing mm. that he has to do. Mm. He has to labor, labor. More, more than them. Wow. Okay. The big boys. Yeah. And you work harder. Harder. Mm. Yes. 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 You pray more. Mm. You fast more. Mm. Now let's talk about fasting. Okay, take us there. Take us there. Go there. Take us there. Go there. Go there. Go Go deeper. Oh, prophet, this one is a topic. It's a topic. You see, you must learn to fast what I call a fasted life where you have reduced what you are eating to a bare minimum. You see, food shouldn't be something. You know, one time I met a brother, he said, when I fast, I fast. When I eat, I eat. When you, when you do that, you will find it difficult to fast. Wow. And your fasting will be very f- small. Wow. Because when you eat, you eat. Mm. And when mm. you fast, you fast. Yes. And when you do that, shh, when you do that, you end up fasting very little. Mm. And the younger you are, the more you must fast. Mm. Wow. Yes. Wow. The younger you are, the more you must fast. You are helping us. Any young person here who has not learned to fast, do you see? Mm. It's a revelation that you have not learned to control your flesh. Wow. And most likely will be somebody who also has sexual problems. Wow, wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Hey, light has come. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> because shh, food, sex, food, rest, and sex are very connected. Yes. They are triplets. Yes. They are connected. Food, rest, and sex are connected. The more you eat, the more rested you are, the more sexual you become. Simple maths. We came for this. I'll say it again. Say it again. Say it again. So the more you eat and the more you rest. The more sexual you become. Oh, mercy. What a shock. Yes. The less you rest, mm. the, the less you rest mm. and the less you eat, mm. the less sexual you become. Because you are just feeding. Your, look, what do cows do? What do bulls do? What do buffaloes do? Yeah. What do antelopes do? They oh, eat. They, they rest, they have sex. Oh. And then they that's give all. birth. That's all. That's, that's all. it. Mercy. Yes. No ministry. That's why erections come in the mornings when there's rest. Hey. Wow, it's making sense. It's a revelation. It's a revelation. I know. Hey. Now I know. I'll wait for the grown-ups to come so that I share this with you. We're here. Preach to us. Preach to us. 
So if you've not been able to control amount of food, mm. control amount of rest, mm. you are most likely not also being able to control the sex. Wow. Yes. yes. Because you never, you never deprive yourself of rest. Because mm. if you deprive yourself of rest, first of all, you, if let's say you wake up normally at 7 mm. or 8 with an erection, and Wait. now you have changed the time of sleep because of whatever, you will not be waking up and you will not be having that erection at that time because you will not even be waking up at that time. Exactly. And your rest, your rest has changed. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're helping us. You're helping us. You're helping me. You're helping us. I think I will stop because the people, the people, I'm being helped. I don't know whether they are interested in these things. I'm being helped. We are learning. We are learning. We are learning. I'm learning. Light has come. So, if you find yourself, let's say, praying in the night, okay, or you be you've been praying. Let's say, the flow starts at what time here? Twelve. Midnight, and yes. you've been praying. You pray from midnight, let's say, to three yeah. or four, yeah. you, and you sleep. You are yeah. not likely to be waking up at the seven that you've been usually yeah. having your yeah. erections. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, Thank you. This is. Nice. And you see that the whole shh, the whole body is changing. Mm. Because of tiredness, mm. which is what Paul was saying, that I labored wow. more abundantly. Wow. And eating is also not what you would want to eat. Mm. Because maybe you would want, because fasting is also eating not what you want to eat. Mm. Eating something you will not have eaten. Okay. And not eating. And being able to not eat. Wow. And that food is not an issue. Wow. So, once you are saying you are a small boy apostle, it's nice to say it as a slogan. Mm. But it goes along with laboring wow. more, abundantly. more abundantly. And once you don't start depriving yourself of rest, mm. depriving yourself of food, Depriving yourself of sex also, it will happen. It will just even happen naturally. Mm. So you see a lot of people have so much time to watch movies. Yeah. Movies, series. Yeah. yeah. Pornography. I mean, you yeah. know that the pornographies that there are, you said there are short ones. Yeah. Uh. Short ones, long ones. Long ones. Long ones. Medium ones. Okay. Medium ones. And then yeah. Part one. Part, part two, two part three, three, part four, part five. Part five. Part five. Yeah. So what, shh, what is the difference between part one and let's say part four? Different scenes, different places. Increase the volume, I can't hear what you're saying. Amen. Hello, I can't hear her. Amen. I can hear myself, but I can't hear her. Amen. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Different scenes. So one one part will take place in one place, and then an, a, another room or another place. Okay. Another room. Another room. Okay. Like like the kitchen or the bedroom. Okay. Or... Okay. Now I know. Part one. Part one will be in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Part two is in the bedroom. Yeah. Bathroom is in the bathroom. Part four is outside. Part oh. four is outside. Hey. And part five is where? Um, mm. The laundry room. Hey. The what? Laundry room. The laundry room. Yeah. Hey. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? I'm listening. I am saying, shh. If you are going to be a small boy, and how many are going to be small boy apostles? Me. You me. have to labor harder than everybody else. Mm, wow. Yes. 
Now, I tell you, I've seen people we sent out to the mission field. You know, one brother, so nowadays we see, interact more, more with the missionary. Mm -hmm. Came back, why is the church not like that? Look, he said, look, I just want to say my problem. So what is your problem? He said, my problem is Netflix. Hey. He says, I watch Netflix all the time. Mercy. Now listen. Shh. I can be, are you listening? Yes. Are you listening? Please. Yes. I said, I can be in a house from morning to evening for five days. For seven days, without looking at uh, pornography or without looking at a movie. Wow. Not that I don't look at it, but it doesn't occur to me. Mm. Wow. So the fact that you are in a house mm. for five days mm. and then it occurs to you mm. to look at pornography, to watch movies, to mm. have time for that. It shows that you are not changed in a certain way. And that's a Jeremiah yeah. 48 and verse 11. Wow. That you have not been sent into captivity before. Wow. You have not been emptied from vessel to vessel before. Mm. And therefore, your taste of a lazy American, mm. your scent wow. of an unspiritual and carnal American mm. has not changed. Mercy. Oh, yes. Oh. And honestly, if you don't become a hard worker, and when you say hard worker, like you go through your prayer points and you take your prayer time, and there are so more, so many, so many more aids yeah. to pray. Let's say if you take any of the flow prayer meetings, which yeah. are still, I believe they are online. Yeah. You can take a flow prayer meeting and be praying for a long time with the yeah. prayer. Yeah. That is going on. Yeah. But it's like you still won't pray. Mm. You still can't easily accomplish three hours of prayer. Oh. When you have something like that. I've never had a flow prayer meeting to, to, to pray, to be with me to pray. Wow. Wow. I didn't know anybody who did flow prayer meeting. I never saw any video of just a prayer meeting. Wow. Mm. But we have been blessed to have actually like a whole prayer meeting. Wow. That yeah, just, wow. Thank, thank you. It's like a convention. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So I am saying to you that until that scent is changed, mm -hmm. and that is why they say that 60, 70 percent of internet traffic mm -hmm. is uh, pornography. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that 60, 70 percent of 60, 70 percent of men, including Christian men, mm -hmm. are watching pornography. Wow. Do you get it? Yeah. Yes. And it's not helping marriages, mm. but it's making things worse. Wow. Mm. Yes, because wh when you marry, then you say that uh, the part five is in the laundry room, but the normal wife will not be interested in the laundry room. Yeah. Mercy. 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 A place of business. Mercy. <laughs> Are you listening to me? We're listening. I'm saying to you, shh. It is possible. Paul said that Epaphras was laboring in prayer. Mm. You see, so Paul said, I labored more abundantly. Wow. You must be able to labor in prayers. Mm. You must be able to labor in prayers. Hmm? Yeah. Look at the scripture. Epaphras is one of his fellows. Always laboring fervently for you in prayers. Mm. One of the works is hard work of a wow. small boy apostle is in mm. prayer. Wow. You are helping us. It is important that the scent of just food, hamburgers, mm. chips, yeah. Coca-Cola, erections, Wait. resting, Wait. <laughs> masturbating. Yeah. Pornography, Netflix, yeah. Yeah. movies, and some of the movies, some of the movies, they are not called pornography, but yeah. it's yeah. well done than the pornography. Thou art a prophet. Bishop, it's true. It's true. 
You're saying something. Rated R. Rated huh? R. What do you say? Rated R. R. And rated N and for they're nudity. they're rated R. Yes. Yeah, rated R and rated N for nudity. Yes. And the R ones are also bad. Yeah, yeah. R, R and N. R and N. Yeah. yeah. Now ask your neighbor, you talk a lot, but you are not changing. Yeah. You talk a lot, but you are not you changing. Talk a lot. on his phone a lot is not spiritual. Wow. Go there. Anyone. Go there. As soon as you wake up, you take your phone. Wait. 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 And you're on your phone. Wait. Messages. Messages. Groups. Mm. Facebook. Mm. This. Instagram. Mm. What? TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying, are you listening? Yes. Is that it is essential that all those who are taking the apostolic ministry seriously Mm. must become laborers and the scent of a lazy, spoiled brat Mm. must go away from us. Yeah, amen. Amen. Thank you. The scent of a rich man's child. Who has never been made to work mm. and has never done any household chores wow. and has never given himself to do anything. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. That smell, you get it, mm. must go. Yeah. There is a movie, I don't know the name of the movie, but maybe when I say you know, because some of you know every movie more than the It's true. Uh, the, it's true. The books in the Bible. Yeah. yeah. In the movie, shh. There was a rich man who died and then he wrote a will. In fact, he read his will. And in the will, he said, if you are watching this, if you are watching this now, I must be dead. Yeah. I hope the funeral was good. I, people can, Please listen. Don't let your talking turn into rowdiness and unspirituality. Yeah. He said, if you are watching this now, I must be dead and the funeral, how do you, I'm sure people came and so on. So he said, now, he is going to give an inheritance to his, I don't know whether it was his son or whatever. And before the son does this, he has to do certain things. And the whole film is about the things that he was, what is it called? The ultimate gift. The ultimate gift. Yeah. Shh. Please, if if it is the right one, and then I think the boy was like a spoiled child, isn't it? And that is how I'm seeing many of us that we are like spoiled children. Yeah, we haven't been made to do certain things before. Yeah, so you actually don't know how to do certain basic jobs. Yeah, yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. yes. And so everything looks, you know, and you see, the, the ministry is to the poor. Mm. A real ministry, you're going to serve the Lord. It, it's among the poor, and miraculously, it's among those same poor that God looks after you. Wow. God will send you to the widow of Zarephtha, and it's the same widow of Zarephtha who will be giving you the miracle. Wow. Wow. That's the mystery of it all. Wow. You don't go out looking for money. Or go out looking for things. You go out looking to serve God and do what he says. But somehow, miraculously, as to serve him, he takes care of you. If you can't follow God and he gives you certain basic things, pray for three hours. You can't pray for three hours. Honestly, I don't think, I think you should resign and go and do a secretarial job or some other administrative job. But you can't pray for three hours. A young man. But you can watch a movie, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Wait. Part one is in the kitchen, part two is in the bedroom. 
part three is where? Laundry room. In the laundry room, part four is outside. outside. Part five is inside the swimming pool. Hey! What a shock. And when you marry, you are, it's, when you marry, it's not as though you are even become more romantic or even mm. with ideas. Mm. Mm. You rather become the most boring. Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever. It's unfortunate that they call certain sex position missionary position. Hey. Call a missionary position. Oh. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's an insult to the mission. The mission hey. We reject that post. That name. Hey. We don't use that term in this church. Yeah. Missionary position. Yeah. at the back are also part and those of you here. Are you lazy Americans? You know what people in America complain about? Having to take the trash outside, having to, having to do the laundry, having to take this, having to do this. I mean, these are the things that they're complaining about. I have to go to the I have to go to the mall to buy something and come back. I mean, this is what is a, is a sacrifice at home. And you've made your face. Made your face at home. But they sent you driving a car to go and buy something. And you made a face. It ain't right. Are you not a spoiled brat? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very spoiled. To tidy up your room. It's a whole thing with a face. Yeah. Come to Anakazo. We will, we will, we will give you work as I'm a laborer. There. We're coming. You'll be a laborer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I sent... I remember some doctors, they said they wanted to be in the ministry and they came to the Bible school and a time came, they were sent to be security guards. Oh, yeah. So one time I remember I was driving out of the Kodesh and I saw these guys in the uniform and was greeting me and I thought, oh, it's Dr. Swell, so he's, wow. he's there for night duty as a, as a, as a wow. watchman, a security guard. Wow. Oh, yes. Today there are missionaries out on the wow, field. Wow, wow. Yes. You, we cannot make you do so many things. If you look in a church, you see it's the same people who always come and fix this. The same people who come and help with the sound. The people who help with the cables. The mm. people who help with everything. And there's some people who help with nothing. Nothing. NATO. Yes. And there are some people who will never join dancing stars because of laziness. Laziness. They can't move their bottoms. Wait, wait. You are saying something. Forgive. For, 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 forgive. Paul said, shh. Paul said, I labored. I labored. An apostle. Look at me. I'm straight from the crusade. And you see, because I'm here. Every day from morning to evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, wow, Saturday, wow, Sunday. Wow, wow, wow. And on Sunday night, I leave. Wow. As soon as I arrive in Accra, give thyself holy start. Tuesday, Wednesday, wow, Thursday, Friday, wow, wow. Saturday. I'm working. Labor, labor. And I've been at a crusade for 20 days. Yeah. Every night, morning, evening, morning, evening, morning, evening. Wow. With other meetings in between. When we said just now we are taking a lunch break. It, it, after the break was over that I had finished the meetings of different uh, other people that had, uh, were waiting for me. So it, I finished it after the time that we said we were to come here. Oh. So when the last person left, then I have to come here. Oh, oh. yes. So as you'll be lying there, I'm sleeping, I'm being stretched out your leg as if you are on the beach. Okay. Snoring. Okay. You don't know the meetings we are having. Yeah, I don't. 
That's why you wake up with strong erections, yeah. looking around. What what tell can us. you do with your tell energy? Us. What can you do with Say your it. energy? Say it. Oh yes. You're saying something. You know things. You know things, Bishop. Shh. As a sister, you are going around looking for hugs. Wait. Who can hug Wait. you? Wait. Who Prophesy. can hug you? Prophesy. You are not content with just walking simply no. without being hugged. No. Hugging, hugging, it. hugging. One day somebody will hug you and need to turn it to something else. Like hey. We're God changing. Hey. I want to say, shh. My pastors over the years, what I have seen, the pastor who can stay at home wearing his pajamas or whatever it is he wears in thinking shorts, we call it. He's just moving around. We call it thinking shorts. Shorts for thinking. Okay, okay. We are Walking around in the house wow. in the whole day. Wow. Praying. Yeah. He's wow. there. He's in the spirit. He's not on the phone. He's not on Instagram. He's just in the spirit. He's praying, listening to messages, praying, waiting on the Lord. Those are the people whose churches have grown. Wow. The rest, their churches didn't grow. Wow. I can tell you that as a fact. Mm. Yes, I can tell you that for a fact. To be a small boy apostle is to put a burden on you for spirituality. Mm. Yes. Spirituality is different from being religious. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You can be religious. Religious people are wicked people. Religious wow. people are people with rules of this, rules of that, do this, do this, don't do this, don't do this. Spiritual people are in contact with heaven. Wow. They are in contact with God. Wow. They have wow. some relationship with eternity. Yeah. Wow. They may put on makeup, they may put on this, they may wear this, they may do dreadlocks, yeah. they may do, but they are spiritual. They have yeah. contact with wow. God. Wow, wow. Thank you, prophet. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 We are changing. We are changing. You are helping us. I'm talking about the young men. Wow. Mm. I want to tell you that if you cannot cut out pornography, mm -hmm. you have not gone beyond a very basic mm. level of sanctity mm. where you just are free from a basic snake. Because you will be sexual till you are 70 plus. You will be, listen, you will be sexual till you are 70 plus. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I met a 90 year old man. His son is a uh, 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 child is 20. Wait. He had him when he was 70. Wait. Yes. 70. The math, yes. the math, the math. His father was 90. He was 20. So, so if you be sexual till you are 70 plus, eh, if you are sexual till you are 70. I met one pastor. He said to me, I'm 78 and everything is working. You can ask my wife. Yeah, okay. I'm 78 and everything is working. Okay. You can ask my wife. That's what he said. Okay. He told me, ask my wife, everything is working. I'm 78. Everything is working. <laughs> ask my wife. Wow. This one is not internet. I, yeah. The man was standing here and I'm also standing here. One he said, one. everything is working. Wow. So if at the age, uh, hello, hello. If at the age of 20, mm. you know, at the age of 11, 12, 13, you start and you are still at 17, mm -hmm. 20, 21, 19, mm -hmm. and your sexuality has taken you already on wrong roads, mm -hmm. and you can't gain control of it, and you don't get yourself, you don't crowd it out by working, then you, you've got a problem because this sexuality, I'm telling you, in various ways, you see, you are not at that age, so I can tell you the sexual problems of people that are in their 40s. Wow. And the sexual problems of people that are in their 30s. You have wow. no idea. Wow. 
We have different kinds of problems. People that are in their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, mm. and their 70s. And yours is of your 20s. Well, you, can't, you can't get the basic things right. Wow. Mm. Yeah, how can you afford it? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how can you afford it? So, honestly, the world is run by tired people mm. who don't have enough rest. Mm. Sometimes they don't have enough sex. They don't have enough food. But all the three, the mechanisms are together. Wow. It's just the flesh. That's what animals do. That's the animal part of you. Wow. It's eating, drinking, urinating, defecating, passing gas, having sex, and having children. It's what every animal does. Mm. And it's almost like because you are in the flesh, you can gain control of these things. And you need to gain control of them. You need to gain control of them. So I want my American young men. You see, mm. I will say something that if you take the American army, you see, you may think that there's an army of softies. Mm. But you see, the American army is rather one of the wildest armies oh, yeah. to fight. Wow. Very strong and hard. So you see, it's a misconception mm. to think that because something is from America, it's a softy yeah. wow. version of something. Wow. But the American army is a very some way army to meet. You wouldn't want to be fighting against them. Yes, they are really some, I mean, anywhere you are, they can come and map out your house and come to you. <laughs> yes. And they have people who like fighting. Yes, they have, they have people who like fighting, they shooting, everything. So the fact that you are here in America, mm. it doesn't mean that you are not going to be someone who is hard and a hard follower and a hard worker. Oh, yeah. It doesn't mean that. It's you who are choosing in America to mm. be a softy. Wow. You are the one choosing that. Mm. Wow. But that's not necessarily how America is. Mm. America wow. is made of hard pioneers. Mm. Wild people with wild... I mean, there's no country in the world they are fighting guns all over this stuff. They want to fight, shoot this... Amen. <laughs> so what I'm saying to you, I'm saying that let us believe. Are you there? Yes. yes. To become hard laborers. Yes. yes. And when you are a hard laborer, you will see that it has an effect mm. on your eating on your sex, mm. your sexual behavior, mm. and the sexual controls oh, yes. mm. that you need. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm talking to myself, but no! I don't know. Preach, preach, preach. We're here. Preach. You know, we're we're here. Here. I don't know whether they are making it's their faces no, we're here. Look a certain way like, we're here. we don't know, we, you are speaking Spanish, oh. or maybe you are speaking oh. another language. I need it. We came for this. So I believe that I've given you 10 master keys. Wow. To develop in your apostolic I love it. ministry. I love Amen. it. Amen. Sit down. Thank you.